Homer MLH graduation from the pre preparatory class of 2017, Jania Isabel Gregorio, who received an award in Best in Math last school year. Our speaker will inspire us by sharing the successful academic journey of Jania in grade school and how Mami's Little Helper Learning Center make its contribution to this journey. Our guest speaker is a graduate of BS Geography at the University of the Philippines, Zidiman. She has earned units in Masters of Educational Management at PUP Manila, a public secondary school teacher at Caloacan City, a wife, and a mother of two kids. Let us give a hand to welcome our guest speaker, Mrs. Precious O. Gregorio. To teacher Danny and her family, to all MLH teachers, pupils, parents, and guests, good afternoon. It's nice to be back. I am the mother of Jenia Isabel, or Han Han as we call her, one of the graduates of MLH Batch 2017. And we are happy to see you again, teacher Lani, teacher Ian, Teacher Jen and Ate Ann, uh, Han Han's former classmates, and of course their parents and guardians. Hello, po, parang reunion. At first, when Teacher Lani asked me to speak in front of you, I was kind of hesitant, but at the same time, I felt excited and also for Han Han that we are going to be part of this year's special celebration. Of course, to all the pupils whose talents and hard, hard works will be recognized to the graduates of Batch 2018, as well as to their parents. Congratulations. I'm sure you had a wonderful journey at MLH just like my daughter. Year 2015, I found the very first school for Han Han. She entered Mommy's Little Helper as a kindergarten pupil. At first, I texted and called almost all schools in San Jose del Monte and in Caloacan. Han Han even took exams on those schools. Until my husband and I decided to choose MLH over all those schools. Nung nag-enroll na nga po kami, sabi pa ni Teacher Lani na matagal na po kami nag-uusap sa text. So text meets na kami parang isang taon na. Kasi isang taon na po ako naging scout ng school for Han Han. Lagi po kasi ako maraming tanong that time. Hanggang sa nakumbinsi niya. So, why MLH? Of course, as a parent, we would like our children to be in a school that will help them grow and develop. To have teachers that are very student-centered and a second home that truly cares not only to their students but also to the parents. And we learned that MLH had this small classroom size that aims to give students the focus they need for their studies, a progressive system of education, and of course, an affordable and reasonable tuition. We felt like we hit the jackpot for Han Han's foundation of education. During our MLH journey, though she passed teacher Nani's assessment, Han Han's development was very evident. I'm sorry, though she passed teacher Lani's assessment, we're still very worried, especially on her social skills, because she has no brothers or sisters that time, even playmates. She had no one to talk to and play with aside from us. She was very shy and soft-spoken. But in her stay at MLH, there was a very big improvement on her social skills. She could already talk with her teachers and classmates without any hesitation. Special thanks to Ate Anne for being the big sister to Han Han. Um, Ate Anne used to update me about my daughter. Until one time she told me, Mami, nagtotok naman na, uh, nagtotok naman na po si Han Han. For me, wow, achievement unlocked. 
Thank you for being uh, caring and affectionate at the end, not only to Han Han, but to all the Filipinos. Thank you again. Then, we also found out that Han Han loves to dance. Her grace in dancing became noticeable not only by her teachers, but also by the other parents every time MLH will hold an activity at the Diamond Crest Clubhouse. And we are so very proud that she was awarded Best in Performing Arts during the recognition program in her kindergarten years. And thank you to our dancing teachers, especially Teacher Chen, who became Han Han's inspiration in dancing. Improvement on her social and dancing skills helped also in building the confidence in her. Currently, she is a member of a ballet group of Dance Plus Manila. And this, I don't know how to feel, but she really wants to join the upcoming contest of SM Super Bowls, the SM Little Stars. We registered, but of course, without any high expectations. Well, it is not about winning. What matters is the experience that will help her learn more about her environment and survive future challenges of life. Kaya Han Han, sabi nga nila, supportahan pa ka. As a parent, I am so very thankful that God had directed us to be part of MLH family. I thought I already knew about my child's strengths and weaknesses. And also be scared of things that I thought she's not good at. But in the end, I'll just say, wow, really? You did that? And her teachers will also confirm to me about these accomplishments. Just like one summer time, I let Han Han join teacher team's tutorial sessions because she had um, difficulty on mathematical operations in her kindergarten years. And also to prepare her in the preparatory level. And surprisingly, after a few sessions, Teacher Tin told me that Han Han actually knows how to add and subtract. Siguro kulang lang talaga kami ng practice. The tutorial helped her a lot in enhancing her math skills. She even showed me some techniques that Teacher Tin had taught her. And it was really amazing. Thank you very much, Teacher Tin. Akala ko, di niya kaya, pero... Kaya pala niya. According to Ignacio Strada, the director for Grants Administration at the Gordon and Bethimer Foundation in California, USA, if a child can't learn the way we teach, maybe we should teach them the way they learn. Sometimes we should just trust them because one time they will amaze us. And just exactly last year, on the same occasion and venue, Han Han was awarded Best in Math. This school year, we said hello to elementary years. If Han Han was so very excited in entering the big school, well, I didn't feel the same way. I was scared. There were so many questions in my mind that time. I think the same feeling came back when I was just scouting for her very first school. Since this is a big school and following a traditional system, I was afraid that Han Han might experience culture shock. But again, surprisingly, she always goes with the flow. She easily gets along with her classmates, and as her teacher told me, she always raises her hand during their class discussions. Very active, but also very disciplined. Her teacher also told me that Han Han knows the time, when to play, and when to study. During break time, her teacher sees Han Han talk, eat, and play with her classmates. But during class, she behaves, and she's really focusing on the lesson. And of course, I knew then that she got that practice from NLH. So thank you for that. The word focus really matters now. Every day, she's mingling with her more than 20 classmates, and her teacher is also attending to all those pupils. If a pupil doesn't have the focus, 
he or she might be left behind. And because of focus, a lot of things has developed on her. Now she became a better reader. She even surprised her teacher on the first day of class that she can read very fast. She also now writes fast and her penmanship is improving. She's also one of the good spellers in class and apparently she's loving visual arts. She can now also memorize a five stanza poem in just a day and reciting all things bright and beautiful without any nervousness. And still, she loves math, especially addition and subtraction with so many carryovers and borrow ones. With this, I thank God that even she didn't hit the top, she's still a consistent honor student of their class. And that's already a very big blessing to our family. I really thank Mami's uh, little helper because she will not be this good if she didn't get the founding chain from this school, from academics to instilling of values. And you are not limiting the knowledge of your pupils. You are one of the keys in opening and enhancing their multiple intelligences. The teacher Lenny, I believe the parents, including me, are thanking the Lord in making you uh, as an instrument for this one-of-a-kind education for these children. And to all MLH teachers, thank you for all the sacrifices. You became the second parents of these children. And thank you for the superb strategies and techniques that are really effective for their learnings. I hope my second child will also experience the MLH way of learning kahit may construction ng MRT. Halawakan po kasi ang location namin. Please, Lord. And of course, my Jenny Isabel, Hanhan, thank you for always making me and your daddy proud of you. We are always at your back. We love you. Again, it's really nice to be back and to see you all. Thank you for inviting us and letting me share Han Han's MLH journey. To all the pupils and parents of Batch 2018, you are blessed to be in here and be with MLH family. Again, to all of you, congratulations and long live Mommy's Little Helper. Maraming salamat po. Well, thank you, Mrs. Gregorio, for that very inspiring words about MLH kids and their parents. Now, let us.